channel. If you're new, hi, my name's Emma, I'm an illustrator, and I designed this mug, which this is, uh, originally it was a Christmas card uh, design that I did, and I've turned it into this mug. Um, so they are hedgehogs, and they are building a snow hog. So not a snowman, a snow hog, and um, I have a hot chocolate. Um, yeah, it feels like hot chocolate sort of weather. I mean, when is it not hot chocolate weather? Anyway, I thought today's video I would show you how I designed this mug. Um, obviously, there are various different ways that you can make mugs, um, but this in this video I'm going to be focusing on how I did it um, by creating the design on the computer, on Photoshop, and then uploading it to a print-on-demand website. But yeah, print-on-demands can be quite handy if you don't have all the money to invest in a, in a shop up front. Um, my shop is tiny at the moment, but I do want to grow it. And yeah, I think print-on-demands can be really useful for trying out different designs um, and seeing what people think. So yeah, please let me know what you think of this design. Um, I just, I think they're really cute. I think like forest animals in hats and scarves is just something that I love. Um, but yeah, I might do more in this collection maybe. But yeah, let's move on to the steps that I took to make this design and then I will also share some tips on things to consider if you're making a mug yourself. Mm -mm -mm. I have to drink the hot chocolate otherwise it will get cold. Tip number one is obviously you need to come up with an idea. One of the things that I generally like to do for finding ideas is actually to look through my own ideas and like look through sketchbooks um, and also look through past designs that I've done and then think would that look good on a different product. You might want to think of something that's going to be like a seasonal thing so for example this is quite wintry, Christmassy or you could do a mug that is like Halloween-y or autumn-y so if you haven't seen this this is my autumnal ghost mug that I designed um, and I have this available with coloured handles which is very exciting. But yeah, think of the purpose of a mug which like sounds kind of stupid like you know the purpose is to have like a drink in it like a tea, a coffee or hot chocolate or whatever but you know mugs are given as gifts often or we buy them for ourselves and is it going to have like an inspirational quote on there so that every morning when you're having like your morning cup of tea or coffee you see like an inspirational quote that is going to kind of like get you going throughout the rest of the day um, or is it going to be just something that kind of makes you laugh? Yeah I think one of the things you need to think about is would you buy this mug yourself? You need to think about like who your audience is but in some ways maybe it's best if like your audience is you and yeah so if if you like the mug then um then that's <laughs> that's good really isn't it because then even if even if nobody else buys one then uh, then you can have one for yourself i think my advice for coming up with ideas is just think about the things that you like and yeah the general rule is that if you like it, then somebody else out there is gonna like it too. Tip number two is what type of mug do you want to get? So this mug is an enamel mug. When you heat it up, it stays warm for quite a long time, which is probably why it's quite good for like campfires. And it's kind of associated with like hiking and forests and anything to do with like going on an adventure, and yeah being at one with nature those are sort of designs that would work quite well I think. With the coloured handles um, I really loved being able to offer sort of um, different like autumnal colours. Um, on my shop you could choose um, it was yellow, red, orange and green so yeah choose your favourite autumnal colour and I thought that worked quite nicely so yeah, you could get a coloured handle that sort of 
ties in with your design. You could also go for like a heat changing mug. So yeah, there are print on demand companies that offer that, which is really cool, I think. After you've done some research and you've had a little think about designs you want to do and what type of mug you want to do, before you start drawing out your whole design, make sure that you get a template. So most print on demands, they'll either have a template or it will at least give you the dimensions of the mug. Um, and then this is just really important because obviously you want your design to fit the template and you don't just want to upload a design and then it's going to be like this big on it or it's going to like crop a load of things off it. So you want it to be the right size. The other thing that you need to check before you start doing your design is how your print on demand wants their file. Yeah, check how many dots per inch they suggest also check like do they want a jpeg the company that i used for this mug which was inkthreadable they want their files as a png so uh, because they want anything that's transparent to be transparent and they also want their files in rgb if the print on demand company does want the files in rgb it might still be a good idea to just test what it looks like in cmyk just because often when you convert things to CMYK, sometimes the colours aren't as bright. So you might just want to double check um, what that looks like. And in order to do that, all you need to do is just go to mode and then you select CMYK from the drop down. Tip number four would be to test out your design as you go. You could just do a rough pencil sketch or a rough digital sketch using that template and then you could upload it to the print on demand company just as a test yeah and most print on demand websites they will give you a preview of what the mug will look like so they'll sort of put it on the product already and then you can like click and it will show you like the different sides and yeah this can just be useful so you don't need to like pay any money to do this and you don't need to say okay this is now ready to go live in my shop you can just sort of check it periodically um just to see what does the composition look like what does the colors look like so yeah i think that is something that's really handy to do another way that you could test your design is maybe you could have a look at yeah what kind of size the mug is see if you have a similar mug size print it out at the size it's going to be and then you could just wrap the paper around just to get a kind of feel of is this you know does this look good on a mug potentially like me you might be using an existing design and then changing it to make it suitable for a mug this mug it originally started as this Christmas card, which, um, yeah, I think I've still got some of these cards. So I think I might put these on my shop again. I just thought it would be really cute to have this on a mug. You might be thinking that this Christmas card design is square and my mug design goes all the way around. Something that was quite handy was that I'd actually kept, kept the original Photoshop file and I'd kept all the layers separately, which meant that it was a lot easier to move these different elements around. So yeah, something I would suggest um, if you're working digitally is definitely save those files, particularly if you think that you might use certain like elements maybe you do like patterns or you have like little characters like this so that you could then sort of rearrange them and create different designs you might also notice that on the card there is a background but yeah on the mug the print area it goes it sort of goes in like a rectangle and so it wouldn't print right up at the top of the mug or at the bottom or on the handle so because of that I don't really like the style of having like a big kind of strip but then I had to change the colour of the snow hog 
and the snowballs. So I changed them to blue and I think it actually works really nicely. You can tell that it's that it's snow and that it's like a wintry scene. I would really love to see this design on like a, a blue mug. Um, that would, I think, look amazing. And maybe when my shop grows and when I've got a bit more money to invest, I might look into sort of doing a design like that. But yeah, I'm really happy with this design. Tip number five is use a limited colour palette, which I know for some of us can be hard because we love all the colours and we just want to use all the colours. Um, but sometimes it can actually make those sort of designs just kind of fit together a bit more nicely. This is a Katie Abbey mug. Yeah, so this is an Alice in Wonderland mug and it says drink me, so very appropriate for a mug. And yeah, I really like Katie Abbey's designs. They're just, they're so full of detail and yeah, there's just all these like quirky little characters. Um, but yeah, but she has used a very simple colour palette of like pinks and blues here. So even though the design is really kind of complicated and there's lots going on, it kind of all comes together because of the colour palettes. Tip number six would be add some text if you like. Um, I don't have any text on my mug. So this one says, I like running because I really, really, really like food. But yeah, I think sometimes if you do a mug that relates to a hobby, um, it can be really good because people sort of identify with that thing and then it makes them want to have this or other people sort of think, oh, so-and-so likes running, I'll get this for them as a gift. So that's one idea. But I would just say that if you are thinking about doing text, then just sort of test out um, is the text going to be readable? And that goes the same for any sort of like small detail. Um, you want to make sure that it's going to be seen. If you've got a quote online, make sure that it's copyright free. Um, so you don't want to put something on a mug that you then can't use. Um, but you could come up with your own quotes. Yeah, tip number seven is, yeah, something that I would advise is to order a sort of either a test or a sample version of your mug. Yeah, if you're going through print on demand, obviously um, they will ship out your mugs to your customers. But I think it's really nice to be able to see what your designs look like in the flesh. Um, you might not be able to do it for all your designs, but but yeah, I think it, it it's nice if you're trying out a new product just to see what the quality is like. It can be also nice to like take your own photographs of your mugs. But yeah, something to consider. So I hope those tips were useful. Um, it's getting kind of dark here, but dark and cosy and I've nearly finished my hot chocolate. Let me know if you have your own online shop, pop it in the description and then I can check it out and other people can check it out too. And yeah, give this video a like if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Um, I do videos every Sunday and Wednesday. But yeah, so I will see you in my next video. Bye.